Hey guys, welcome back. I'm just finishing rubbing on my moisturizer. Um, what is up? How's it going with this whole shenanigans going on with the quarantine and stuff? <clears throat> um, so what are you guys doing? Are you working from home? Are you still going to work? Are you still, are you not working on unemployment? Like, what are you guys doing? Are you, are you like going out of your mind and like your mental health is like taking a dump like mine? I'm working still, so I'm grateful for that. <laughs> Let me just clarify that really quick. But uh, my mental health is still taking a dump because I like to get like clarification and clear my mind and like the nature and at like Allegheny or Letchworth and stuff like that. <sighs> so I can't do that. <laughs> can't go so it's like oh my god what am I gonna do uh, but I know everybody's feeling that I'm with you on that um, stay strong we'll get through this together I know everybody's saying that right now but it's true um, so hang tight if any of you guys ever need anything like just to even talk um, I'm here for you you can message me and comment on this <clears throat> I, I give great advice apparently so um, we're just gonna jump right into it, I guess. This is kind of gonna be like a get ready with me kind of thing. So for foundation, I've just been using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. Like that, it's in the shade light. It's right there. You can read it, my phone. There you go. Um, so let's talk about depression and anxiety. So I suffer through depression pretty badly. I have extremely bad depression right now. And it's sometimes it affects my relationship, it affects my motivation to do anything around the house, it affects so much stuff. And I just want everyone to know that you're not alone with that. Because people are always like Oh, you're just sad. Like, you just need to get over it and move on. No, that's not what depression means. It doesn't mean that I'm sad. Some people may be. Some people may be, like, sad because someone passed away and then they were coping with it in the most incorrect way you possibly should, which is just laying in bed and crying all the time. And that causes the depression. So, yeah, but in some cases, it just happens out of nowhere and you're just like one day you're super motivated to do stuff and then the next day you're just like oh, I really don't feel like doing any of this and I questioned whether I was bipolar for a while because um, that seems to be what bipolar is it's like I mean correct me if I'm wrong but it's like one day you're fine and you're happy and giddy and then the next day you're like oh, fuck this shit like I don't want to do any of this. I don't want to do any of my house chores. I don't want to do laundry. I don't want to walk the dog. Like, stuff like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Like, put me in my place. Not in a rude way. Um, but I also am aware that, like, everyone's different, so... People can show it in different ways. And I completely understand that. So, I'm just curious as to what you guys are going through, what kind of things you're experiencing, what your situation is. And I just want to help. I feel helpless because, or useless, because I work in a doctor's office and I don't come in contact with any patients. I'm not helping anyone. I'm not, you know, like, I'm just useless right now and I want to help people. I want to be useful. That's like, I don't know, that's just how I always have been. So, let me know if you guys need anything, if you guys want to, like, talk. Oh, this is off camera concealer, it's the hydrating one. If you guys want to like talk, if you want to, you know, like just vent about stuff and connect and just, yeah, just let me know. Like I'm always down for a good conversation about that stuff because if I can help someone, I will. I will help someone like immediately, no questions asked. So, like even if I don't know you, so like pop into my DMs be like, hey, I watched your video. Don't pop in like a creep and I probably will ignore you. Um, just 
be like, hey, you know, I really need to talk to someone about depression and anxiety. I watched your video. I would really like to confide in you and, you know, if not, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, then contact a counselor or something and, I don't know, if it's that bad, it is that, like, you don't always have to see a counselor or anything because I don't, I tend to do just fine, um, dealing with that on my own, so, yeah, but, anyhow, I'm just taking this in box where I get dripped to sunlight. And then my double chin. And I put it right here because I have a double chin and that's where it shows the most. <gasps> and I like to take it up a size like this. Oh my gosh, there it goes. I don't know why. Sorry, the cap was like 20 feet away. Um, I don't know. I just like to do it. I like to just like, what's the word? I don't even know. I don't know, guys. I am just a wreck. I'm a mess. That's what it is. Everyone's a wreck. I'm just blending it out with a damp beauty blender. I feel like this, this video is just gonna be like all over the place. It's fine. It is what it is. I'm just kind of rambling on about, about like a random shit. It happens. And yeah. Oh, so if you guys are hearing any like background noises, my apartment's not haunted, don't worry. Um, we got a dog. Her name is Mika. She is a full-bred Siberian Husky. And we're just in love with her. And that's what the noises are, because she's walking around and like looking for Kev, my boyfriend, because he just left for work. So she's like, where is he? Where'd he go? Alright, so I spent a lot of time blending the shit out for some reason. I don't know why, but I just do. Um, I just basically blend it until it's like dry. I guess. You could say. I don't know. Um, and I did want to mention one product that I've been using, like, all over my body. It's a moisturizer from the drugstore. It's Flamingo Body Lotion. Looks like that. Get some hair out of here. It smells so good, and I literally, like, I'll wash my body in the shower, I'll exfoliate and everything, and then I'll put that on, like, including on my feet and stuff. Oh my god, it smells so good. And it moisturizes really well. Like, really, really well. And I, I just put some on, so that's the one good and fresh. Um, so now on to powder. So I've been using two powders. Um, the first one to like put under my eyes is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Got my camera will focus. They're light. And I used to a beauty blender and put this on. You could use a brush too. I'm actually gonna use a brush, change my mind. And I'm just going to dip into it, tap off any excess, because I'm not trying to bake or anything. And I just put it on like this. And I don't put it on my lids because when I I find when I put it on my lids, I tend to like my eyeshadow tends to not want to stick as much, so I've been putting a different powder on my lids to set them, and I will show you that in just a second. And I'm setting anywhere that usually creases, right here, like my smile lines, and then that's it for that powder. We're all done with that. And guys, how cute is this bag? Look at it. It's my makeup bag. I got from Marshalls for like five bucks, and I absolutely love it. But now, I'm going to move on to the other setting powder. This is the sample size. Um, it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. Looks like that. Beautiful. Um, 
and my back is a bad color correct. And I just dip into it and I just set everywhere that my contour wasn't. So on my forehead, my chin. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. I just let my smile off. What am I doing? My upper lip. I like that to be glowy for some reason. My jawline. And this like gives you a really nice glow. It's not, <clears throat> you can use it as a highlighter. You can use it as a setting powder. I usually just use it for like an all over setting powder. And usually the one that I most of the time will go up to is the Maybelline Fit Me. Translucent. But with the CC cream, it's too drying for that. So um, I'm just going to you know, resorting to this because it's super hydrating actually, believe it or not, for a powder. <laughs> Sorry, I have hiccups. And now we're going to move on to bronzer. Milani bronzer in 9 Dolce. My Morphe M401 brush. And we're just going to go over everywhere that we did the cream bronzer. I realize that I've been calling it the cream contour. It's not, I know it's not a contour. I just am dumb and I just have been calling it cream contour when she's browser. When I'm trying to be extra, I'll do a contour and I'll use my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. But I'm not into that unless I'm like going out. And I like to bring this up like almost onto my cheekbones. I don't know why, I just do. Is that weird? I don't know if that's weird, but I just time to do it. And if I sound short of breath, no, I don't have the Rona. I just get really short of breath when I'm like talking a lot. It's my weight. I need to lose weight. Um, and that's another thing that like really messes with my depression is because I have really bad self-esteem, like really bad and it like affects a ton of stuff. So, I'm just kind of doing the side of my nose. And I'm not doing anything like precise or nothing, so. All right, that's the foundation routine. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna film my everyday eye routine. So stick around for that.